Hey you guys, what's up you guys, it's your girl Big Meech. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about how to develop sick biceps or sick biceps. Do I make your heart beat like an 808 drum? Is my love your drug? Your drug? Huh, your drug? Huh, your drug? Is my love your drug? This workout is going to be slow, controlled, and we're going to focus on the contraction of the biceps. You're not going to rush it. It's not a lot of heavy lifting. You know, we're not doing no Dwayne the Rock Johnson niche over here. But we're going to make sure that you get a sick pump in. I hope you guys like the video. So the first exercise is called barbell curls. I know y'all used to the regular dumbbell curls, but the first exercise, we're going to use a regular barbell. Whichever one you can find is should be fine okay do not go too heavy on it i use this was a 20 pound barbell weight okay and we're gonna do 10 sets and the first set we're gonna have 10 reps and then we're gonna take a 10 second rest the next set we're gonna do nine reps and then we're gonna take a nine second rest so on and so forth until we get to one set one second rep okay. <laughs> Guys, make sure you're super duper slow going up and coming back down. A lot of people have a misconception that the faster you go, the better the burn is. No, actually that's false. Focus on going slow, focus on the contractions, focus on squeezing. And no, I'm not going this fast. It's actually sped up, okay? Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, after that, we're gonna go straight into the seated barbell curls. Okay, make sure you sit down, obviously. Your posture should be good. Do not be hunching over anything. Also, don't be leaning back too far. Straight up, okay? Each rep is slow and controlled. We're not trying to rush this, okay? We're not trying to show off none of that ego boost and stuff that you usually see at the gym, okay? Um, also, make sure your pinky finger is turned higher than your thumb. When you grab the barbell, this little motion, it activates the biceps even more, okay? So make sure you do that. Bring it up, turn your pinkies inward. <laughs> have four sets and eight reps make sure guys you really focus on that contraction make sure you focus on that speed <laughs> Oh, look at the guy over there. He's doing the exact same exercise that I'm doing. I'm gonna name him Travolta because for some reason he reminds me of John Travolta and Matt Lowry. I'm gonna call him Matt Travolta. But make sure, guys, you do this eight times for three sets. That's three sets for eight reps. Next, 
we're gonna do the spider dumbbell curls. Now this is the first time I've ever done this type of exercise. It's challenging, don't get me wrong. I was like huffing and puffing by rep number two, <laughs> okay? But make sure, like I said, don't rush it, slow and controlled. Make sure that you breathe because I had trouble breathing because I was like laying on my chest. <laughs> I don't know, like maybe I was laying the wrong way, possibly, but now this exercise we're going to do is seven sets for four reps. And I know you're thinking, oh, it's not a lot, I can do this easily, but trust me, it's challenging. Make sure you're doing it correctly, okay? And I guarantee you'll get a sick burning. Next, one of my favorite incline dumbbell curls, okay? Um, Make sure that you're not laying too far back, but you're laying far back enough to where you don't have much help with, you know, swinging and stuff like that. This makes it way harder because all of the stress is on your biceps. That's what we want, okay? Make sure you don't sway, you don't swing. Each rep should be slow, it should be controlled. I know I'm saying that like a thousand times, but that is very important. We're not gonna rush through any of these exercises because it's gonna eliminate the amount of gains that we make. And over here, we wanna make the maximum amount of gains. Come on guys, you know this, okay? Make sure slow and steady, wins the race. We're gonna do three sets of eight reps and the burn will be there. You'll feel the pump immediately. And you'll wanna stop, but do not stop. Push through, persist, and you'll see the gain. curls on one arm and then once you finish with the fifth one you're gonna hold that weight in a half flex position and you hold it there and then you go to the other arm and you do five hammer curls with that as well and then you're gonna do five hammer curls with both dumbbells on both arms together <laughs> Listen, the pump is ridiculous. You're gonna feel it at this point. Your biceps gonna be screaming. You're gonna be screaming. You're gonna be wondering why the hell you never did this workout before. All of this is one set, and we're gonna try to get three sets in. So obviously you can tell that I switched down my dumbbells. By rep number two, I could tell that the other dumbbells were a lot too light. So I got two 10 pound dumbbells and I finished the workout with this. This next exercise is okay? Excuse my language. But we got the easy curl ball reverse curls. Thank you. 
We're gonna do two sets of 10 reps. Sounds easy, but it's gonna kick your ass. Okay, when you grab the easy curl bar, make sure that your wrists are straight. That was my problem a little bit. My wrists weren't quite how they were supposed to be. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I was ready to throw in the towel and say, fuck this workout shit. I'm not made for this, okay? But I persisted, I pushed through, and I got the gains. It killed me. But make sure, like every other exercise we did, it's slow, it's controlled. You squeeze those biceps, you focus on the contraction. <laughs> Yo, that set was terrible. It was, uh, my arms weren't positioned right. So I had to get another set in. And if you have to do this, make sure you get at least five or six good reps. Last but not least, we're gonna do regular standing dumbbell curls. And we're gonna make sure that our pinkies as we go up are higher than our thumbs so the bicep is activated. And we're gonna focus on obviously contraction, squeezing, and going super duper slow. This workout is great if you want a bicep pump because days after you still feel the burn. I use this exercise for as long as I can until you know I find a better one, which I doubt I will because this one's awesome. But I hope you guys like the video, and I hope you actually like the video. Make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you share all that cliche shit. At the end of the day, make sure you make all kinds of games. Bye, guys. I'm <laughs> sorry.